2014 Super Aeronautique 230. Color scheme on this 230 is reef blue main stripe, silver cloud accent, graphite gray hull with a uh, silver cloud interior deck color. Sitting on a Phoenix tandem axle trailer with tandem disc brakes, extended side steps, uh, you got transom tie down straps, LED lights, swing away tongue. It's really got the works on it. <clears throat> I'm gonna walk around the exterior and then jump up onto the interior and take a look. Rocking the uh, Silver Cloud Tower. We have the Z5 Bimini, a uh, pair of tower speakers. We've got the board racks. Um, the board racks, tower speakers, and Z5 Bimini arms are all color matched to fit the whole color scheme of the boat. Running 35% uh, window tint on the windshield. Just an, another way to help cut down the glare. Swing away tongue, like I said, F2 uh, winch and an F2 jack. Also have the uh, bow tie down or uh, uh, safety strap. We have the, uh, the bright Chromax Super Aeronautique logos on the side. <clears throat> Nice extended side steps, making it very easy to get into the boat. This 230 is equipped with the Nautique Surf System, uh, also known as NSS. We've got the white accented uh, cover plates on this. Really kind of tie the whole color scheme in. Train some tie downs on the trailer, and your LED lights. <clears throat> nice. Uh, uh, color scheme on the platform. We did the graphite gray. Uh, makes a nice extension of the um, uh, main color on the or the uh, hull color on the boat. Have the uh, the brown sea deck or non skid. Uh, they call it the faux teak. <clears throat> Pop the shoes off. Jump up onto the interior. <clears throat> Run the new Polk audio. Uh, head unit and speakers, so it's got the uh, Polk Audio Transom Stereo Remote. There's your tie, uh, nice little grab bar to get into the boat, um, and it's also got a nice little T-bar there. Anytime you're pulling a skier or a tuber, uh, it's a great place to tie off to. The 230 still has the nice walkthrough. It has been redesigned. It's a little bit deeper and wider than, than previous years, um, but always always a nice thing to have to walk through. The other thing that they've added is uh, where you still have your, your step down into the boat. Um, there's a center cushion pad that, that goes there, um, so you can have a nice full bench going across, or you can take that off and have... Uh, an access for people to get in and out of the boat without ever stepping on on vinyl. So <clears throat> safety safety uh, pads down the sides that come uh, standard with any 230. So uh, you're not having to step on fiberglass to get in and out of the boat uh, at the dock. It makes it a really nice safe uh, entry and exit out of the boat. <clears throat> Good storage down both sides. You'll see that this um, has a tray sitting here. Uh, this boat is optioned with the Pro Ballast system. So below this tray, you have a nice, you have the extra uh, ballast system along with the hard tanks that is a nice L system now. So uh, this tray allows you to allows you to get to your uh, soft goods without it going around the bag or anything like that. Uh, so nice easy access. <clears throat> Look at some of the storage options on the 230. Down your starboard side, the bench is on hinges, um, so you don't have to worry about holding the, holding the uh, bench up itself. Uh, it takes care of everything. 
same system on the uh, port side. As you can see there, that pad right there is actually the pad that clips in right there to make your full bench across. <clears throat> we have optioned this 230 with the GMN seat. Um, the GMN on the port side. You can take that out, you can leave it in, you can flip it around and sit backward or sit uh, uh, forward and be able to look out the front in case you're out cruising or something like that. So it's a very versatile um, space in the boat that you can really do whatever you want to do with it. <clears throat> Coming up the port side under the observer seat, um, show you really what I did right here. This, this front piece of the bench is on hinges. There's your soft side cooler uh, that can be taken out. Um, if you're not using it, it's easy to stow it away, but it's also a really nice cooler to have um, accessible to you. But this bench right here <coughs> opens that up so that you get a little bit more storage, easy access to it. That goes up, this goes up underneath the driver's seat or the, the passenger side seat. You got your, your dual battery system right there. You got your uh, trash can, um, which also has access from the walkthrough right there. So uh, people don't have to get up in order for you to throw things away. Gas shocks on the main seat. Like I said, hinges on that. So looking into our glove box here, uh, it's a nice deep glove box, got our non-skid down in there as well. Items aren't just uh, rolling around. In 2000, our 2014 head unit is the Polk Audio head unit. Um, it is Bluetooth capable. It is Sirius XM ready. Uh, it's a very easy uh, head unit to function. Um, you can also have, or you also have your uh, USB port right here. And then a, um, 12 volt accessories right there <clears throat> at your driver's helm um, we're gonna get to the link screen just here in a second but to show you uh, you have a your 3.5 millimeter jack right here for the driver and then they also have a 12 volt here as well um, so anywhere you hook in you can have power going uh, which is really nice <clears throat> here's the link screen not a whole lot has, ch has changed on this. Um, still have all your main main dials on the left hand side. You have your uh, you know your inner inner menu buttons on the on the right hand side. Um, this boat has not been equipped with the uh, navigation system. It is an easy update to do uh, if that's if that's something that you're looking for. Um, but going through these, you got your users, so your wake surf, wake novice, complete boats, completely self sets itself up for you. you. Also, create your own customer user settings. You got your switches. We do have the heater and defroster on this boat, and I will show you those in just a second. Your ballast system, and like I was saying before, uh, to get to your main menu here. Then anything that you need to operate within that menu is on that right hand side. Uh, so you're you know go back to your main screen and you can you can change everything from here uh, you can go your surf mode you can go to uh, you can change your your uh, speeds all that kind of fun stuff so getting back down to the heater defroster you have your defroster on top of the dash for the driver you have a, a heater hose it does come out and then right behind the driver's seat you have uh, your other hose comes out reaches 90% of the people in the boat the people it's really not going to reach up to or to the people in the bow <clears throat> up here by the underneath the uh, the, the driver's console uh, you have on the walkthrough uh, your battery selector switch this is a dual battery boat so you, your selector switch, you can do one battery, you can do the second battery, or you can do one plus two and run both batteries at the same exact time. You can see here, we have the um, uh, <coughs> air dam 
slide in air dam option on this one. Go ahead and pull that out. It's very easy. Uh, when you're not using it, you can stow it away. It fits most places in the boat. Coming up in here to the nose, you got your bow filler cushion. Nice big open nose. Um, very comfortable to sit in. Uh, it's a nice deep, deep bow so that uh, you feel very safe and comfortable. Um, and the ergonomics of it are, are very comfortable for anybody sitting up here. Uh, also, new in 2014, they've redesigned that nose just a little bit on the interior piece of it. Um, you now have a non-skid step uh, getting uh, on the nose so that you know, getting in and out of the boat, just like in the rear, uh, it's nice and safe uh, for anybody getting on. They're not just stepping on fiberglass, uh, which can get really slick. <coughs> Bow filler cushion does remove if that's what you're looking for. Um, you know, that can stow away nice and easily as well. And then you have a nice walk through as uh, uh, up through the bow so really cool looking uh, 2014 230 um, yeah. if you got any more questions about this boat please give Michael a call at N3 Boatworks 317-845-9253